Hi, today I'm going to show you resin waves for beginners. What you'll need. Protective sheeting for your work surface. These mats are made from silicon. Resin. Use my code and link below for 20% off. A plastic measuring jug and spatula. Separate mixing cups and mine are made from silicon. Mixing sticks. Liquid pigments for colouring your resin and again look for my link and code below for 20% off. A heat gun. Blowtorch. And a surface to do your waves on. To get to this point, I took a cement coaster, stuck sand on top and then applied a clear coat of resin. I then applied the process that I'm about to show you. So what you'll be watching is my second coat. And don't forget your rubber gloves. Lay out your protective sheeting. Now mix your resin in a one-to-one -one ratio, starting with your hardener. I made six coasters in total, so I poured out half a cup of hardener and half a cup of resin. Mix well for at least 5 minutes and remember to scrape the sides and bottom. Now take your mixing cups, I'm using 4 in total, and divide the resin roughly between the 4. I give them all just another quick mix for good measure. In the first cup you want to mix your white. Add just a few drops as a little goes a long way. In your second cup you want to mix your dark blue. Add a few drops of blue, less green and even less purple. Your third colour is your medium blue. Add a few drops of green, less blue, and again, even less purple. Leave the fourth cup clear and give the other three a mix. I've edited this part down, so make sure you take the time to mix these colours thoroughly. I then add a tiny amount of white to my medium blue to give it a slight opaque look. Set your colours aside. I've set my coaster on a resin slash paint catching device. Start by applying your dark blue to the very back of your surface. Next take your medium blue and apply this next to your dark blue. Using a clean stick make sure your edges are coated. Then very roughly blur the edge between the dark blue and the medium blue.
Take your clear resin and apply some between the medium blue and where you want your shoreline to be. Then using your heat gun, gently blend everything together. I advise pushing towards the shoreline or you may lose most of your dark blue. Once you've achieved a similar look, dark blue, medium blue and a bit of clear, take your white and run this right along the shoreline. Using your heat gun again, hold it at a low angle and let the waves blow out. Now to create some definition, use your blowtorch and very gently blast along the top. This is what creates those little cells that emulates the foam of the sea. When the resin is warm like this, it moves around quite easily, so this is your chance to pick it up and tilt it around a little. Depending on your personal preference, you can leave it like this, or you can add another layer of foam. I find no two are ever the same, so just have fun and experiment. Easy resin waves on any scale. Please see below for all the products used in this video, including my 20% off offer with the Epoxy Resin Store. Thank you again so, so much for watching. Please hit like and subscribe, and I will see you again next week.